so when I'm asking about I just remember your song hey guys welcome to my closet so I've had quite a few requests to do a like my stash video all of the bags that I have currently right now so I am going to go ahead and go through the bags that I have and let you kind of see how I have them organized in my closet. This closet is designated just for my diaper bags. My husband makes fun of me all the time, but it is what it is. Um, so this first section here, I like to keep all of my real leather diaper bags. Um, it's just right as you walk into the closet. I think these are beautiful bags. They smell so nice. They feel so nice. So uh, the first bag that would be right here, I just received. It's a Lily Jade Elizabeth, and I'm actually using that one right now. So I will show you that at the end of the video. Um, and so here's this first one. This is a Lily Jade Megan. This is in a beautiful brandy color. Um, and let me just tell you, when you receive these bags, you open the box and it's like the best leather smell that you've ever smelled. Um, their bags have such buttery soft, supple leather, really good quality. Um, love these bags. Um, this one is a 2.0, so it's got that really pretty jade lining. All of their 2.0 bags are fully convertible, so they've got D-rings on the back that you can take the included messenger strap and hook through the D-rings and convert it into a backpack. Um, I have a full review of this bag that I will link in the cards above. Um, so yes, the Lily Jade Megan and Brandy. The next bag that I have here is a Lily Jade Jennifer, also in the Brandy color. Um, this one has these really long zipper pockets and these pockets are huge. I love them. Um, it's kind of a mistake, or not a mistake, but I didn't uh, try to get two brandy bags. I actually really wanna try the camel color also, um, but my Megan was my first Lily Jade bag um, that I got, so I bought it in the brandy because I think it's such a beautiful color. Um, and then this one came up for sale on the buy sell trade, and I really have wanted to try a Jennifer, and I love that they finally came out with it in leather, so. I snagged this one and the only colors that they have the Jennifer in are they have a black nylon and then they have the brandy leather. So that is why I have two brandy colored bags and it's a gorgeous color, but I do want to branch out and try some of their other colors. Um, so I have this one. I also have a full review of this one that I'll link in the cards above. And the next bag that I have is by Fandana. It's their nappy backpack and I love this bag also. This is in the hazelnut color. Uh, the leather quality on this bag is amazing. Uh, the only issue that I have with this bag is just that uh, there's not a lot of internal organization in it. So you definitely have to pouch pack with this one or put an insert in there because there's just not a lot of internal organization. And I have a review of this one up in the cards. And this one has amazing bottle pockets. You can fit like huge water bottles in, hydro flasks, like the 32 or 40 ounce, like such an awesome bag and it's crazy comfortable to wear backpack style like more comfortable than almost any of my bags to wear backpack style so there's that one also got this hanging compartment that I usually have um all my mini bees in but right now I just have my son's super toky mini bee my girls mini bees are upstairs because I just got a BRB to match them and I'll, I'll just insert a picture here of those bags but I have a black and blue mini bee for my daughter Scotland and I have a gingham style mini bee for my daughter Scarlett and then I just got the gingham bloom BRB to match them. Um, on this side I just have a Logan and Lenora oversized carry-all tote which I need to make a review for this. This thing is awesome for beach days in the pool. It's ginormous, fits tons of towels, it's got wet bag pockets and all that good stuff. And this is in the Palmtastic. It's such a pretty, pretty print right below the leather bags. I have this section here and the first bag here I have is the 12 little three in one fold over tote. And this is in the camo print. This is one of their unisex lines and I love this bag cause I love camo. It's super comfortable to wear. It goes backpack mode. You can wear it like as a big old tote or you can fold it over and kind of wear it like hoboed if that makes sense. And I've got a review of this one I can link above, but this is such a cool bag. And PS guys, I keep saying I'm gonna link all these videos above. I'm not actually sure how many videos you can link, like how many cards you can put in the video. So I may be putting them in the description or you can just like jump into my videos and find all of these also. So 
Anyways, then I've got a BFF in Pixie Dust. This was my very first Jujube bag that I found on a good sale. I honestly used it once uh, because I got it while I was pregnant and decided that I didn't really want this print. I wanted a boy print because my I was pregnant with a boy. And so I got the Commodore print because I loved the stripes and I loved the anchors. And then when I started to use it for the first time, I realized that the BFF and I were not BFFs. I couldn't make it work for me. I know so many people love this bag, but it looked funny on me. Like I, could, I never wore a backpack because I felt like it looked awkward on me. Um, and anyway, so I sold that bag. I still have this one for whatever reason. I don't know, but I know so many people love this bag and it works great for them. And it's a really nice bag. I just couldn't make it work for me. So there's that one. Here is the Jujube Vector, um, part of their XY collection. So this one is really cool. I like this one especially because it is so gender neutral and my husband will totally rock a pink bag, but I just don't want to do that to him all the time. And so this one is like, it looks good on a girl, but it's also very masculine. And the only thing that has ever really bothered me about it is just that the shoulders are pretty wide set, which is good for a man with like nice broad shoulders, but I kind of have a petite frame. so. They do feel not uncomfortable, but just different because they are so wide set. Then my last bag right here. This is my BRB in the Admiral print. So I love this one. I may keep this one forever. I don't know, but I did get a new BRB, like my second BRB, and it is in the black and, nope, it's in the gingham bloom. And I inserted a card earlier or a picture earlier. So you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. So the next bags I want to show you are on this shelf here, and I've got the Ella Dane 3.0. This is in the color, I believe, Caramel. Um, I could be wrong, though. But this is an awesome bag. This is a vegan leather bag. You can hold it like a purse with the crossbody strap. It's got a really nice grab handle, and then it also has backpack straps, so it's just really super convertible. Um, and then Next, this the Ella Dane. I have my Itsy Ritzy Stroller Caddy here, um, and this thing is super great. I love this. I've got a little um, review of it. This is in the coffee and cream. It's great for just quick trips or long trips if you have a diaper bag with you as well. Um, and then I've got this one is my 12 little stroller caddy. And this one doubles as a diaper bag. Um, it's an awesome bag. This one is in the stripes print. Uh, I've actually, I liked this bag a lot more than I thought it was I was going to, especially as a stroller caddy. Um, as a diaper bag, it's okay it's good that it's convertible like you can take it as a diaper bag but it's kind of boxy to wear as a diaper bag but it's really cool that you can you know take this from the stroller and wear it just as a diaper bag like i said i'll link the review above it's gotten on the body and stuff um and then down here on this shelf so i'll start over here i guess so i've got my be classy by jujube this is in the monarch print i like this style a lot. Um, I just recently got another one, not because I'm like obsessed with the style, but um, it's really cool because I got some matching bags for my girls. So I got another Be Classy in the Duchess print, which is a really cute, you know, I think it's got the same lining. Let me see. Yeah, it's got the same lining as the Monarch. I think most of the Legacy um, prints have this same lining it's kind of like a caramely toasty marshmallow color I don't know but I got this bag and the reason I got this bag was because I also got two of these little itty bitty bees um so that my twin girls who are now one they turned one the end of October so I got two of these for them let me grab the other one it's just hidden in here so they'll each be able to carry their little itty bitty bag while I carry my be classy because I'm a weirdo and I like to match my girls. They are twins, so I match them and then I like to match myself to them also. Problems, right? Okay, so we'll move on. And I think I got a review of, I have a packing comparison video of the Be Classy to the Itsy Ritzy um, Tribe Tote. I think they're very similar, just the Itsy Ritzy is a lot bigger, so I can link that above. Then this is my very first Be Sassy, and I'm in the process of doing a review for this one. Um, it's a way cute bag. This is in the Midnight Posy color, and it's just really cute. It's like a, a Be Classy, except a smaller Be Classy. Um, obviously not as small as an itty bitty, 
but it's it's great as a purse um, it's not quite big enough for a diaper bag in my opinion maybe for one baby or like a really quick trip but um, it's a really cute bag and it functions great as a purse then I've got my 212 little diapering clutches I have one in the black um, I have a how to Tuesdays on how to pack this in five different ways and these are really great I again when I was buying this I kind of thought uh, I don't want to buy this bag because it's so small I'm not gonna have any use for it uh, but I actually use this bag surprisingly a lot so it's it's a great bag and it's got really nice smooth metal zippers um, and I think that the quilted material like I've not been a fan of this too much but since 12 Littles bags came out I've kind of started to like that a little bit more so here it is in the black and then the blush and the blush is really cute because it has rose gold hardware which I love rose gold hardware especially I think it's kind of like in right now but I love it it's so pretty um so there's those two so on the next shelf down I have these cool little like filing systems <laughs> so these are actually I think they're made for plates either to display them or to dry them I can't remember which but I've got all of my different sets in here so I don't like to just put like my be quicks and then my be set somewhere else if I have like a full matching set with a be quick or something to go with it then I like to put those all in one be quick so that it's just all filed in the same thing so in here I have uh, this was like my very first be set and be quick that I ever bought um, to go with my BFF that was in the Commodore print um, and so I've got just all the little pieces that go to this inside of here and then I've got this one here I got the new Butterfly Forest and I went a little bit crazy with Butterfly Forest and Sakura at desk because I also got the B Snackies and I got the change pads to go with them. So I have like the whole, the very whole set in here. So um, like I said, I went a little bit crazy. So I've got Butterfly Forest, Sakura at desk, Sakura Swirl. Uh, rose colored glass and this one actually I have a bee dapper and all of the set pieces inside a bee dapper I didn't get a bee quick in this one so that was the first bee dapper I ever tried and I actually really like the bee dapper then in this one this is more um, like odds and ends so I have a large set piece here in the black beauty I've got a medium here in super toki this is my three-year-old's bag that we usually put toys and things in for him I have a full set in the rainbow dreams this is by jellyfish designs and this is a full set by them and i really like them because they have the window they're very similar to the lily jade packing cases um, but they don't have as like heavy duty of a metal zipper as a lily jade and each size is a little bit smaller than the lily jade ones sometimes i like to use them with my lily jade packing cases um, and especially these two they match so well together um, and then I've got the Lily Jade packing cases in the Jade color I've got a Logan and Lenora wristlet clutch in Palmtastic and then I've got a wristlet this wristlet clutch as well and this has a simple change pad and then another wet bag to go with it so like I said I like to keep things that go together in the same little section and that just makes it really easy for me um, depending on what bag I'm using I can just grab these out I know exactly where it is and all the pieces are in it um, the only thing that I don't have in there is like the small straps I'll show you where I have those later um, but then next to that I've got these little drawer organizers that I got at Ikea and this is the smallest piece but I just have all my little white pouches in here And then the next cube back, I've just got random, like, my Medi pouch type things that I'm not using right now. So. And we'll go down to the next shelf. So the last shelf here. So I really like these UB pencil organizers. I use them for play packs and things. You'll see it in a lot of my packing videos. I'm using the unicorn one right now, but I've got one in this panda print. And I've got one in this cat print and then I also have just the hot pink one with the zigzags that's not in here right now and then I just keep random wet bags in here um, and everything bags. most of my bags like this I have up in my kitchen one of my drawers has a ton of these because we like using these itsy gritsy 
um, snack bags for everything. So that's what's in this first two. So in this one, I've got all of my different passy pods. And then in here, these are all of my different, um, like this is from a Forma Cube. I have the organized, just kind of mesh bags. I really like using these for like spare changes of clothes to put in my bags. This is my little bin of all the different straps that came with my bags. So I've got all the little small set piece straps as well as like the big messenger straps that have come with some of my bags. Um, some of these straps I use and some I never do. This is like to my 12 little clutch so I just have all the straps that I've ever gotten with bags going here um, until I need to use them. In this one I just have a bunch of different changing pads. Uh, a lot of my changing pads I modify. I don't like them to be so big to take up so much room so I usually unpick the hem on part of it so that I can pull the foam lining out of a change pad and then it just makes it really small so that it fits in my bag really well gone through and then these are some of the bigger change pads that won't fit in there because I haven't modified them or for whatever reason here then just past these shelves I've got more bags over here so this is the end of my closet um so it's really tight and I'm sorry that the angles are horrible but it's impossible to film in here I swear so this is like this is like kind of my not kind of this is my itsy ritzy section I've got so many itsy ritzy bags so here is my boss backpack collection. I have three boss bags. I really love that style in particular. So this one was a limited release snakeskin and I love the print on this. I love the snakeskin in the black. It's so gorgeous. So this one is super, super pretty. Then I've got another limited edition. This was the Erin Williams collaboration and she has her own channel on YouTube and has like a huge following of subscribers. I actually didn't know who she was when I got this bag. I just really liked the colors on it. I had already known that I liked the boss bag, so I was, you know, I really wanted to get this one. So this is her collaboration and it's so pretty with the navy, the quilted pink, and then the white. They have since done like a full navy bag and a full blush pink bag, and then a bag that has white and black, but the color combo here I just think is a really pretty color combination. So there's this bag, and then I've got my Handsome Heather Boss Backpack. Uh, these are great bags. And then below here, I've got my Triple Threat in the Posy Pop. I've got my Triple Threat in the Handsome Heather. And I've also got my Tribe Tote in the Black Herringbone. Then over here, I've got my Itsy Ritzy Minis. So this bag came in four different colors, and the colors were blush, black, taupe, and gray. Um, they're so awesome. They're vegan leather. They've got the signature rubberized bottom, of course, with the little spider. Um, the blush bag actually came in two editions. It came in the regular, which all of them were in, and then it also they had a collaboration with the Sensible Mama. And if you don't know who the Sensible Mama is, her name is Amber Wardell. I will link her channel below. Um, she's so cute. She has her own little online boutique that sells amazing products. Um, I really like that she won't sell anything that she doesn't personally try out and use and recommend for people. Um, so this is her collaboration bag. The only thing that really is different from it than the regular blush mini though is, so at the end of all of her videos, she says, love you Mina always. So inside her collaboration bag is her signature, the love you Mina always. And then the other thing was just a little charm that has the little tree that is part of her logo. I love these bags. I have two of them, the black and the blush. So that is it for all of my so bags. This, here is this uh, door to the closet and I just have a shoe organizer here that I'll link below. Top section here, uh, there's a random battery because actually the doorknob on my office here, it has a combination lock because I don't want my kids getting into all of this stuff. It just becomes a big mess. So anyways, I've got batteries for that. I've got some bag tags that I had custom made for me by Rose Petal Stitchery. And then in this next one, I've got some stroller clips. Uh, these are from like my Itsy Ritzy bags. I think this was from my Ella Dane bag. And then some of my bag tags are not here. I'm not sure where they're at right now. Probably in my diaper bag that I'm using. 
on this next row down, I have like different key chains or like embellishments that I'll put on the outside of my bag just to kind of customize it a little bit. These are different phone cases that I use. Then this is just a whole bunch of like placemats, disposable ones that stick to the table so that your kids can eat on it and you know that they're not like touching whatever was left on the table. And then also, if they make a huge mess, I can just roll it up and throw it in the garbage and I don't have to leave a giant mess for the waiter, which I think is really nice. Um, on this next row down, I've just got lotion holders from you know Bath and Body Works, a bunch of pocket back holders and extra hand sanitizers. This is a Petunia Pickle Bottoms wallet. These are different play pack um, activity things, refills to put in my play pack holders. Then this next row down, an extra pack of extra gum. <laughs> and then more lotions for my different lotion holders or just to stick in my bag. I've got extra spray hand sanitizers extra trash baggies and bum cream. Uh, this is a small travel on cube with some bibs in it. A coin purse. So a lot of this is just random stuff. Uh, I've got some like my be charged in here and I really like thread wallets also and then some lanyards to go with them. And here I've got a bunch of posh sticks to put in my bag, some posh samples. Here's some extra Kleenexes. Down here I have a fuel cell, some hooks for my closet, and extra power banks to put in my little charging pouches. So that's it guys. I know it was a lot to go through. Hey guys, so thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me and seeing my diaper bag collection and how I have it packed. Um, my collection changes quite often, just to be honest with you, because I love finding the new bags and seeing how they're going to work for me. I love to show you guys how they might work for you. And I really hope that with these packing videos, they're helping somebody to see if the bag is going to work for them without having to actually buy the bag. So if there's special requests that you have to maybe a special way that you pack your bags or certain items, I would love to do that for you. I really kind of find it fun and challenging to try packing bags different ways with uh, items that maybe I may not think of. So I'd love for you to leave a comment if there's a certain way that you want to see something packed. Um, and so, like I said, I'm shuffling through my bags quite often. I get excited when new bags come out and seeing the new features in some of these new bags. So I like to do that. And because I love doing reviews so much, um, there's no way that I can keep all the bags that I have. I have to be um, moving them. So I, you know, I'll use one for a while. And if it's one that I absolutely love, yes, I'm going to keep it in my collection. And also if it's one that I love and is going to be able to grow with me as I move out of the diapering years and something that can go with work and travel, things like that, because those are just going to be bags that I'll keep forever. But there are a lot of bags that are going to be moving out and a lot of bags will be moving in so that I can continue to do packing videos and reviews for you guys. So thanks so much. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing while you're here. Drop a comment if you have any of these bags. If there's bags that you think, hey, Gretchen, you need to try this bag. Let me know. I love hearing about new bags. Like I'm always enjoying trying out new things. So please leave that below and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.